I'm Jason Hobbs. Welcome. I am running through my conversational marketing recipe. This is my second one. Um, same format as the prior one, so I'm pretty excited, pretty proud of myself. Um, all right, so let's get going. Over here. And we'll go with that. Yeah, should have that done. All right, so my second conversational marketing recipe is for Irwin Animal Clinic in Osceola, Georgia, which is, I think it's like 6.5 miles from where I'm at right now, which is in Fitzgerald, Georgia. So, <laughs> my cat provider, Darcy, likes to chime in sometimes. So if you hear something you don't understand that doesn't sound like a cat, it's still my cat provider. Um... All right, so let's start with the digital status quo. Just a quick overview, just to kind of set the context so you know where I'm coming from as far as once we start saying, hey, this is what I would do, right? So there's no website currently, and um, so this is all irrelevant, but I had to, in order in brightlocal.com, in order to run this, you have to give them a URL. And luckily I created a, um, a demo site already. So I just gave them the demo site and to see if, you know, will they accept it, which thankfully they did. All right. So, but that allowed me to get this other information, right? So digital reputation, how is it? It's actually really good. And there's a couple of places that it's less good, um, like Yelp. And they need to, I think that they still need to um, claim and verify the Yelp um and populate a lot of the information for their profile, for that Yelp profile for Irwin Animal Clinic. But then at the same time, you know, they have three on Google. They have, um, what, 36 on Facebook. Uh, and, you know, all robust average star ratings. So definitely, you know, room to grow. Absolutely. But definitely a very firm foundation. All right. So what about digital citation slash, you know, local search engine optimization? Okay, so when we talk about citations for a local business like this one, you know, Irwin Animal Clinic, the name for the business or brand or organization, whatever, as well as the address and the zip and the phone number, well, the, the entire address and then the phone number, they have to match exactly on every, t every time that they're kind of put online, right? So anytime that that is put online, it's got to match exactly, or Google will basically treat it as two separate entities, and that works against the brand's interests. So, we, and you also want to have them claim or claimed, and you, the other thing with um, this is that you can also identify the ones that are important, so that you don't just, you know, put it in everything, you don't have to spend a bunch of money on your budget, so, you know, what about Google My Business Rank? Okay, so the way that we're looking at this is, I live in Fitzgerald. If I pull out my smartphone and I type in Animal Clinic, where do they rank, right? Well, they actually rank first. So definitely really good here. Um, now, the one thing to keep in mind is that, and actually I don't think you can see it. Or maybe you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I got confused for a second. All right, so the location, though, is Oscilla, as you can see. And so their closest competition, if you're in Fitzgerald, Dwayne uh, Smith is the one that actually ranks. I think he ranks first over here. So they're kind of back and forth. And, you know, one is 1.5 miles from me, uh, Dr. Smith, and then... Irwin Animal Clinic is like six and a half, but I still go to the Irwin Animal Clinic most of the time. I've used both over the years. I mean, don't get me wrong. A lot of animals. All right. So, there's a conversational marketing recipe. So, the recipe leads to what? Well, conversational marketing for Irwin Animal Clinic, right? Small, one to ten, um... One to ten person organization. I'm not sure exactly how many, but I'm pretty sure it's under ten. And then beyond that, um, definitely kind of. Well, they don't have a website currently, 
So there's definitely some opportunity as far as, um, you know, maybe be a non-digital native or whatever. So foundation media, customer conversation and campaigns. Those are the four way or components, I guess, as far as how I break down conversational marketing. You have to have the foundation, the media, <laughs> I mean, the media drives everything. <clears throat> and then the customer conversation obviously is what, why you do the media, right? So it's driving everything, but everything is driven by this conversation, this two way one to one conversation at scale between your brand and customer. And then campaigns. So, all right, foundation, start with, give you a quick, this is on the demo site that I put together. Uh, but that is the actual team. I don't have all their names, but, and that is the correct information as well. I was able to glean that from other places as well. So, but it, you know, definitely, the way that I would do it is I'd go get managed WooCommerce hosting by Liquid Web, and I would use the Essence Pro Genesis Child theme. I'd 99% sure I'd end up using Beaver Builder as well, uh, especially if they're going to manage it, which would be ideal. Like you want to be able to, you can outsource digital marketing and, you know, media creation and distribution and all these different, you know, SEO and all these things. But at the end of the day, you have to, for conversational marketing to work, you have to start building in some of these um, skills into your team. You know, you can outsource and so forth, but you still have to understand what you're outsourcing and you need the people, you want to bring some of it in-house, but then, you know, you're more bringing the strategy in-house then, right? And you're able to kind of outsource some of the other stuff. So definitely I would go for Yoast SEO Premium and I would get the uh, WooCommerce add-on. Now, why? Okay, so let's go back. What's the first thing that I did was I dropped two fifty a month on managed WooCommerce hosting. Why? Because, all right, they don't currently have a website, right? But if they're gonna do a website, it should add to the bottom line. That's the goal. So, in order for an online store specifically, especially, but you know, website, same thing. Speed is crucial, crucial, crucial. Like if there's anything I've learned, I openingly learned in the last three months, speed is crucial, full stop. Then we can take like a break <laughs> to let that marinate for a while. Seriously, it's that, it's that important. And so I don't understand all the specifics, right? So what, when I think of hosting, it's a relationship. It's a very intimate relationship when you're a business owner. And with me always reselling and, you know, some form of hosting to kind of be able to just give the best comprehensive experience to the clients I actually work with, you know, it's a very intimate relationship with that host. And, you know, so with Liquid Web been extremely helpful for me. So it being knowing that the most helpful humans in hosting is their motto or whatever tagline, I'm not sure. But it, it's also something that you feel when you're you know, working with them. So definitely from my view, not them not having to worry about it and being able to add commerce capability to the website is worth way more than two fifty a month, and it's going to go up. Don't get me wrong. Once they break a hundred thousand dollars, you know, a year, then at that point they're going to be kicked up a plan, and then you know, once they're over a million, it go, you know, it's, they have different tiers. But it, and it's it's extremely cost effective, regardless. Okay, and then here's the other reason that I chose to do conversation, you know, do digital commerce for them and e-commerce. And so what can they sell there? Well, when you go into Irwin Animal Clinic, you are able to, um, when you go into Irwin Animal Clinic, you're able to buy like t-shirts and you can, they have different food and they have different 
um, you know, materials that, that you can buy for your dog, like leashes or whatever. And there, there's just any number of things that an animal caregiver is going to need, right? Specific And just being specific to dogs and cats, okay? And it, whereas they also work with farmers as well. So the idea is, why just do a website? Why not make a mirror, a reflection, a direct reflection, I guess, or whatever, or just make the digital version of that lobby and so that they can buy anything that they want. They can pay. They can check their account there. They can <clears throat> set up an uh, appointment. They can research different procedures. They can, you know, ask different questions about different things if they're looking to get a dog or, you know, whatever, right? So that's that's the thinking behind this website it's not a website it's actually they're monetizing the web like in 2018 for a business to grow long term they got to be able to do that um and if they're robust offline that's great you add the digital commerce portion because they could literally sell branded materials have a whole line of t-shirts if they wanted to um you know they're selling it's all for that that animal person that you know, loves their animals and lives within, you know, a specific area or just loves their, their brand personality and the voice and so forth. So, all right. How would you do it yourself? Here's the way to do it. Go to that thing, HTTPS, go.liquidweb.com forward slash manage dash WooCommerce dash hosting. And then fill out a form. And then they're going to let you set up a 15-day speed challenge, which is bleeping amazingly awesome. Because I've met the people that do it and that work on the back end. And like what Chris Lim has done is brought in really smart people to work on a store owner. And for me, it's just, you know, somebody that wants to do digital commerce, period. I mean, WooCommerce with these guys hosting it and supporting it and so forth. I mean, there's it's game over in my mind. So, and that, not that others won't fill in and not that there's not room for others to do the, you know, similar thing and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, take, hopefully take it way forward and think of new stuff that, you know, Chris and his team hasn't thought of to begin with. But what they thought of to begin with is flipping amazing. So that's the, and, and the idea behind this is from, let's say that you're the specific, oh, I guess I should have noticed. So the go.liquidweb.com slash manage dash. So once you go, they're going to over a 15 day period, the way that it works, here's how they, they drew it up, so to speak, is you have an online store and you're going to check them out, so to speak. Well, here's what they'll do is they'll take a, make a copy of your store on their servers and then they'll optimize to get it as fast as possible and they'll give you feedback and they'll if they need to they'll write code to do it or create wordpress plugins to do it or uh, you know influence their server configuration to do it whatever that they need to to make sure that that those pages on every page so that includes the store pages etc that they load super duper fast so the other reason that i signed up with the, or that i go with them wholeheartedly is they are already adding Jilt, which is the card abandonment solution, and they're adding glue.io, G-L-E-W.io, so to help with customer segmentation and so forth, and they're able to help you kind of pull those pieces together on your own if you need to. So, you know, once again, most helpful humans in the hosting, right? It because that's the big thing. If if I can't remember remember the doctor's name, but she um Oh, can't remember. Dr. Ashley, I think. William. Ooh, I need to look that up. But from her viewpoint, if she was making the decision to put together a website and start selling stuff online and, you know, have a full line and, you know, whatever her preferred, because there's definitely specific brands that she carries and that her team recommends. And sometimes it's part of treatment and other times, obviously, it's just, you know, day-to-day -day feeding and caring and, you know, so forth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the, um, 
here's a peek at the uh, the front page of the demo site that I set up for them um, on Liquid Web, my managed WordPress. This is on the managed WordPress, which is super fast from Liquid Web once again. Um, yeah, but the big thing for me is if they land on the home page for this where you have the store and you have all this other stuff that's available, and there's a lot of different opportunities in my mind that you know easily kind of just set up behind as they're going forward over time behind the, the initial foundation that you put out. But the big thing here is just just like when you walk in the front doors there, you know, it's you want them to be able to feel that warmth from the beginning. And in my mind, and so that's where I came up with the we adore your animals as much as you adore your animals. And then, you know, there may, there's probably going to be a much better variation once they do some testing and so forth going forward. Um, but it's a great place to start. So what about their digital reputation? Well, customer feedback loop is the goal. We want to have a way to where they're constantly, they're keeping as close of a pulse on their, um, you know, their audience as a whole, but specifically their customers is there is the key, the priority, obviously. And, and that could be a digital customer as well, especially once they have stuff up and going. You know, they, they could be selling, you know, not bark boxes, but, you know, there may even be a way to kind of you know, partner with bark box or something. There's so many different options once they have the digital commerce up and, you know, bringing in, then there's so the people that are showing up are going to ask for and look for and be excited to find and discover additional things as long as it's all quality, right? And a quality experience. So it loads really fast. It's secure, etc. Okay, so why would I set up this customer feedback loop? Let's back up for a second. And I'd also set up a drift, a saved drift reply so that in live chat, you would have a way to just, you know, give them a link to a page for them to go rate and review Irwin Animal Clinic. So, you know, because there's going to be somebody, I saw an email, but I didn't. Okay, boom, you're done. And then other people will come in and maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe they didn't get the email or whatever, but end of the day, you're able to give them opportunity regardless of how they come about it, come around to it. So I choose get5stars.com. I met uh, Don Campbell in uh, two, December 2012, and um, that's when I first learned about it. Been following them and using it, used it for a long time, and then left for a while, didn't really do anything with local and blah, a bunch of stuff. And then now I'm back and it's I've added it back to everything else that I do. So... Very excited to see where they brought the product since because I've been kind of keeping track, but I really took a close look recently and super excited. Um, you know, and here's the other thought process or other part of the thought process for me. Mike Blumenthal, one of the founders, you know, with Don Campbell is a long, is long considered the god, I think it's the godfather of local search, but that's kind of how I saw him. Just he understands it and how it, it you know. <laughs> No one person completely can explain Google and their algorithm. I just, you know, especially on a local search and level. Oh, so, but, you know, somebody that eats, sleeps, and drinks it and is really, really sharp in the first place, that's why I really like being able to tell my clients and myself and so, and you, obviously, that if you put, if you, your business trusts them, it's going to be easy on you. And it'll, it, there's going to be positive, you know, benefits. So how to sign up 75 bucks a month would be, I believe the, the plan that I would start Irwin Animal Clinic on would be the 75 bucks a month. And then I don't remember exactly why, but I do remember taking time to make that decision. Uh, there is a 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, fill out your business info. So, you know, they would go from, um, somebody at the office over there, Irwin Animal Clinic, they go fill out their information once they signed up for the account. They'd have to have, you know, they want some images and they need their address and the proper phone number and, you know, et cetera. And then, um, you know, they need to edit the emails that are going to be sent to people, right? And then they got to test them. So look at them in your phone, you know, look at them in your email client, Make sure that they show up. Make sure that they look the way that you want. Make sure that they say what is necessary. Make sure the links work when you click them. And then once you've tested it and you're happy, then activate it. And once you've activated it, now you start adding your customer emails 
address, email addresses, and your feedback loop starts rolling. All right, what about digital citations slash local search engine optimization? They may not even need to invest a thousand if they don't want to, because they probably won't need 500. Um, but they, I would definitely go with Citation Burst by Bright Local. It's from, it's over at brightlocal.com. They're out of the UK. And, um, I would go ahead, I mean, I'd go ahead and invest a grand, to be honest, because the 500 don't, they don't expire until you use them. And think about it. If on Yelp, they need to go and claim the account and fix all the information and so forth, that's one submission out of 500. Then they'll also go to Facebook and do the same thing. Or they'll go to Brown Book or this or, you know, whatever is relevant. And they'll tell you which ones are the most relevant. Kind of grade them and, you know, list them for you for you to pick and choose. And then they just go do it. Here's the other part, okay, long-time leader in the industry, but proven process in place. Think about that. Proven process in place for profile citation submissions and verification. So going to Yelp, verifying the profile, submitting everything, making sure that it was done properly, make sure it shows up, you know, what kind of, a, how long do you need to wait to make sure that it's definitely locked in? It's a, that's all born from years of ongoing iterative improvement to that process for actual customers. So, I mean, they're not, we're talking about Irwin Animal Clinic, they're not super duper comfortable with the internet. So giving, helping them build a relationship with Bright Local, yeah, they're out of UK, but they're people in the UK and it's a great process and so forth. So, you know, doesn't matter that they're not next door. I'm still super excited to put these two together, you know, because they're both going to benefit. Well, obviously, you know, our own animal clinic has got a bit of it way more than bright local, but definitely it's a mutually beneficial relationship, right? So, <clears throat> how, how, what? Okay. Anyway, how to do it yourself. Go over there and buy the grant and pay the grant. Provide your business info and your images and whatever they ask. Just give them what they want and spend the 500 profile submissions as you want on your unique need of A and B. Profile information being corrected slash updated, and then new profiles being created and verified and so forth. And don't worry, like I said, they don't expire until you use them. Here's a comparison. Um, you can go to Yaks and so forth. I mean, you know, you can get them. It's going to be three bucks a site, obviously, if it's just, if you're quote unquote retail, if you buy in bulk, you get them down to two bucks a site. But yeah, I should have looked at the next column, huh? All right, so Google my business rank. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to come back to that. Uh, media strategy. Okay, so this is huge. All right, this is gargantuan. Conversational marketing, you hear about the bots, you hear about the live chat, you think about the live chat operators, you think about um, you know the email component that comes with Drift, blah, blah, blah. However, the bigger dirt determinant of success in 2018 for Irwin Animal Clinic, so to speak, is their media. And what I mean by that is they have to accept the fact that as a brand, as a business today, they are in charge of their own media. So any video, audio, or written content of any kind for that brand and their customer point of view, um, they're responsible for it. You know, they can't expect anyone else to make it there. Now they can outsource, you know, the creation, etc., and we'll get into that, but they still are the ones driving it and it's still them. They're those actual people, the, the vet that runs it and her sidekick and her, you know, and the office manager and the, you know, trusted aid. I mean, there's all these folks, each of those natural people, you don't want them putting on airs or, you know, trying to do whatever for the camera or through the written word or whatever. You just want that information exchange, that community, that conversation, so to speak, right? A mutually, res of a mutual respect. That's the other part. So, 
All right, media strategy, here's what I do. I do an animal channel. There's nothing like that around here. Um, I'd share the love of animals first and foremost. You can put out a bunch of, you know, sugary stuff. Um, but, and then you can put some hearty stuff out as well where you're answering specific questions for dog owners and, you know, a specific breed, specific location, specific, you know, climate that they're in, specific whatever, right? And all you're doing is, you know, you're, you're, you're focusing it on animal caretakers in Irwin and surrounding, because they're in Irwin County, and surrounding Georgia counties, right? First and foremost, locked down, you know, local. But it's a brand with a voice and a personality and a heart because I have felt the heart over repeatedly. Like, you know, I've lost two of my animal, two of my dogs that, yeah, I mean, just you know, old age and one got sick. and But I've felt the heart from these folks. And it, I, I believe it's an all-female staff. I'm almost positive. Um, I've never seen a guy, in, which is great. A local business here in South Georgia. I think she may have bought it from a guy. If, if one of the, anyway, I, I'm, I think maybe. But regardless, they're, they've been doing it for years and years and years and years themselves. So it's, um, but they haven't, they don't have the digital component. And that's where, that's kind of my thing, my passion. So why would I do the IAC, you know, animal channel? Well, the talented team of ladies are best served being their own media company like we talked about. I mean, if you don't understand that, you're just not going to, like, listen to anything else I have to say anyway. So I'm not going to bother. Um, but don't force media into some antiquated box or whatever. Communicate. Be yourself. Each of the ladies in there, I, I, um, that image was real early, <laughs> um, you know, definitely be themselves, their personality. That's what people are going to relate to. That's where the connections are going to be made. And people buy based off a of brand. They buy based off of, they buy, a, we're emotional buyers in my mind. Like if we have a, anyway, I won't go into a tangent. I'm trying to get through this in 30 minutes. One of the keys, it seems to my success is not filling out one of them, right? But how would you do it yourself? Well, first and foremost, you got to accept the brand's media responsibility and commit time and effort and resources and, you know, whatever. You also need to focus on documenting. Your Start with your origin story. You know, if, if you watch uh, Spider-Man, you know how it, how it happened, right? They told that story. Do the same thing for Irwin Animal Clinic. How did she come in and take over? Or did, you know, she started from scratch or whatever. And then also from there, you can start answering questions, you know, that customers have. And then the key is, though, you and your team, you know, her and her team's true personalities. Be yourself. And the other one, and you're probably like, yeah, that's freaking obvious. Look, if you follow the letter of these three, you're going to be doing well in 6 to 12 to 24 to 8 years. 6, 12, 24 months, 8 years, whatever. But the key is you have to start and the practice has to begin and you have to just, so. Media creation. I use audience humps. Like I was saying, they could outsource, right? And, it, you know, your final say, like, who's the, who's the big kahuna? It's the, the vet. She runs, right? She's hiring audience ops to outsource part of her media, but she's in control of her media. By, because she's recognizing, you know, that why not benefit from their acumen that this team, Brian Castle and his team have put together. So I would not, they started with articles, right? Professional articles for audience, uh, or I'm sorry, for Irwin Animal Clinic, for their animal channel, I would, I do a podcast video combo. It works out to two Two grand a month, so and you pay quarterly, so six thousand. But that's where what I was saying earlier. It's like, how do you do it yourself? Well, um, you gotta, you gotta actually buck up, you know, and do it right. And part of that is getting these guys and gals going for you, as far as that team. Ah, oh, thirty minutes <laughs> scared me to death. Scared me to death.
All right, so, but I've gotten pretty well through this. Not well, no, I take that back. I'm halfway through two, and I still have three and four left. All right, so let's just pick it up a little. Um, why would I do that? Brian Castle. I've been following this dude for years. I don't know him personally, but I have read a lot. I've learned tons from him. I've listened. I've watched him for years and years and years online. So, yeah. Hit audienceops.com. Yeah. I'll guarantee it. If he lets you work with him. He, he, you're not always going to. He's not going to work with everybody. But if he will, <laughs> you're looking good. So, but they have these systems and processes for planning, creating, and distributing blah, distributing media. So, and it's based on years of experience helping brands make their own media and making their own media for themselves. And I mean, it's all very meta. All right, so how to do it yourself. Go to audienceops.com, book your free consultation. This sounds like an ad. I totally get it, but it's not. I'm, it's, I'm not an affiliate. I'm not a reseller of audience ops. I'm going to be a client as soon as my budget will allow it for Jason Ops Digital and for a couple of my other brands as well. So, oh, I pulled up. All right, off and running. Media distribution, this is the easy part. If you if the media, the message, people don't relate to it, you, it doesn't matter. You can distribute it everywhere, and it still won't matter. So, But it, it is easy to get stuff in front of people. It's just keeping their attention is incredibly hard because they have a carte blanche as far as anything they want to view, they're going to be able to view pretty much, right? So I'd push the audio podcast to the Anchor.fm app for distribution because they make it just drop dead simple to do. And then I distribute the video as a podcast, a video podcast, uh, through iTunes as well. And, you know, just every week, make sure that as you're pr producing that new video for that channel, you know, you put the audio in through Anchor.fm app, you put the video into the YouTube channel and the Facebook brand, and you also put it through iTunes as well, you know, towards a video podcast there. Distributing the, through the Anchor app makes the syndication just stupid drop dead simple. Like, no brainer. It, it just in, infinitely easy. I can't clarify it enough. Okay, that's not for me. So pulling, oh yeah, yeah. And then anchor.fm, create your account and, you know, get that rolling. You're, I mean, from there, if you're going to do the video thing, you're going to need to set up an iTunes video podcast. And then you're also going to need to create, um, oh, I didn't, I should have added this. Um, what's the other thing you have to do? Um, uh, oh, oh, um, you know, a YouTube channel and, or a Facebook page for you to publish to. All right, customer conversation. My strategy, customer-centric approach. And I'm not going to beat you to death with this. Customer is always right. I learned that when I was working for Taco Bell in high school. And, um, you know, and then after high school and while I was going, tried to start going to college and blah, blah, blah. Biggest thing I walked away from there with was the customer's always right. Just having that, having a very good understanding of that and its limitations and how to accommodate them and so forth. Um, the thing to keep in mind is, you know, it's a customer centric approach. So we're trying to stand in the customer's shoes and give them exactly what they want, exactly when they want it is the idea. So, you know, it's on customer time is that's kind of the guiding principle is, you know, when are they paying attention? That's when we're there, you know, with our, you know, little thing over our thing, our napkin or whatever, and we're ready to take care of things for them. So why I would do that, you might as well just give up because you're not going to, um, how they say it, win, <laughs> because the customer's already had control for years and it's just continued. I'm just, 2018, it's still on lockdown. Commit to your conversational marketing strategy. You're like, yeah, yeah. What? I'm on. So 
It's an investment of your brand's resources. So conversational marketing strategy, when I say commit, I mean with your pocketbook and with your mind, so to speak, because you're going to want to do 4,500 bucks to go ahead and pay for the year. And if not, you could pay $500 a month for the same thing. But if you're running Irwin Animal Clinic, five live chat operators is plenty. And then the bots will help on top of that. And then on top of that, it'll be able to do automated meetings as far as it, it doesn't have to be a quote unquote meeting. It can be an office appointment. It could be a video a, you know, conference. It could be whatever you and your team are comfortable doing is, a, is possible now. You know, and especially tied in with uh, drip. So that's what I'm saying. You have to actually commit to the fact that because drift is the only conversational marketing platform available, at least that I've found and I've looked. So what about new customers, though? So we said we started with what's the strategy. Now let's talk about the new customers. Here's what I do. I You start. Right. First and foremost, start. And then from there, keep adding to it as needed and take away as needed. Just listen to your customers. Right. Just, you know, two ears, one mouth. So just, you know, put that into practice, practical practice, if you will. So what I would do is I'd start by getting symptoms and qualify people in chat. Right. So if they want to come and take some time up of, you know, I think it's Dr. Ashley. Uh, but any of the ladies there, then they're going to need to say, look, this is what's going on with my dog or cat. They're going to have to let them know. And so that they can know that they have enough time and so forth. And obviously beyond that, they need to let them know that they're a farmer and they're going to need to, if they say farmer, well, what's going on? Do we need to come to the farm? You know, or we, do we need to, you know, prepare for some large animals to be brought to us from the farm or, you know, whatever. So it's just making the idea is just to empower the the people on that team by using bending automation and you know conversational market the bots and all the other stuff to their will. Okay, so why it becomes an inflection point for customer conversations? It's not a destination. The whole point is once the conversation starts, they don't have to be on the website. They can be in their email. They can be wherever that they they may go to the Facebook message you know, profile for the brand and message them there. Whatever the, the customer wants to do, once again, the customer's always right. So, but because all that the brand wants, they're winning by having the conversation. So, hopefully, you followed that because that's pretty clear in my mind. So, G Suite for brand email addresses and calendars, so that you can hook that into Drift. You're gonna, that's how you're going to do it. Then obviously you got to sign up for Drift. You know, drop drop the 4500. Be my uh, suggestion, and then connect the calendar to Drift for each of those five profiles, and um, away you go. What about current customers? I would add live chat for logged in members, and I do it through the My Account page on that website. Remember, we signed up with Liquid Web Managed WooCommerce Hosting, right? Well, because of that, they're going to be able to have everybody's account on show up on the exact same page, but it's going to show the account based off of the person's profile, right? So when they create their profile and log in, now they go buy stuff, they do this, they whatever, they're going to see all of that right there. And it's going to be a lot easier because they can do it on their phone, their tablet, their desktop, laptop, doesn't matter. And I would do that live chat on from the Amai account page. I would do that during lobby hours only. Like whenever the operating hours are, that's not an emergency channel. I would continue with the same emergency channel. Um, you know, the phone. <laughs> you know. So why conscientious care coupled and keep in mind, I'm a customer. So they're caring for my dog. I gotta take Max over there, my uh boxer, who is a little over eleven. And get his nails clipped because I'm super freaked out about it. I can't clip. I can't clip his nail. Yeah. <laughs> but so from my point of view as a customer, conscientious care coupled with an easy peasy experience for the animal parent. Yes, please. Do you do you understand the sentiment? Like I'm not being glib. The sentiment behind that. That's what we want the experience. 
to engender within people that actually experience that feeling from the experience. Uh, yeah, if you followed it, good. All right, so here's the My Account page. That was what I was talking about. This is on the demo side, so it's already, boom, up and running. Um, and it, yeah. So how install and activate Beaver Builder is how I would do it um, as far as to protect this page or whatever. Because uh, sometimes I think you can make it a little bit easier for people. And that's my big thing is I hate having to get a password and log back in. And, uh, you know, every time that I have to you know, salvage my password somewhere, it's the worst freaking process ever. It, 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 and, it, and you're like, golly, you know, overreact much? Yeah, yeah. Because every time that I'm trying to log in somewhere, I'm on a mission to actually do something. I have something that I have to get done. And now I have to not get anything done or take care of all the other stuff. I got to go and find out. I got to go find the password. I got to get the password in there. And if, you know, it, it's just a big pain in the butt. And, it, you know, it's frustrating because I could be done with this. But instead, I'm trying to log into this bleeping thing you know so i'm trying to solve for that that frustration is the goal so and the other thing would be you know you need to create the drift inbox specifically for because these are your customers and it's a direct because everybody has live chat don't get me wrong but you want to make sure that there's a different a customer window if you will for where customers come up to hey i'm paying i'm you know, let's talk, so to speak. And they can come in through the front with everybody else too, but you want to make it available to them because they are a trusted customer, right? All right, so what about the team? I would just add the Slack. I would use Slack for communication if they're not already. I don't know. They may, they may not. It allows every computer, every phone, every technology is to go ahead and, um, you know, make it easier for people. So that's the goal. All right. And you go sign up for Slack. I'll get you rolling in no time. Campaign. I'd only do one. I'd introduce the website and live chat by promoting that animal channel. So we're promoting the animal channel and then kind of the follow-up for the people that actually are interested in the animal channel is, oh, yeah, by the way, we have website and we have live chat, you know, because we're super people-oriented, blah, 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 right? And then I'd add additional ad spend for media to which people relate. So what I mean is all that media that we were creating – the one, the stuff that works, that's what you spend the money on as far as for paid. And you still do the organic stuff for it as well. But why paid, paid ad spend is in addition to the organic and sharing. And so it's also always an iterative, it's a learning process. If you're going to start spending money, yes, you have to bring in more, you know, otherwise than you spend. I mean, otherwise it's just not business, right? It's charity at that point, I guess, because you're just supporting. Google or Facebook or whoever. So I'm always testing, but I do try to focus ad spend on media people have demonstrated interest in. So install the Facebook pixel. This is how I would do it for the, them. They already have a, a solid brand uh, Facebook page. Allow the pixel to accrue understanding of website traffic from the very first day that the new store with Liquid Web Managed WooCommerce hosting goes live. And from there, when they're ready to start pay, doing some paid campaigns, They'll be able to not just, you know, send it out into the ether. They can actually, you know, target people by the pages that they visited on the website. So if it's a high intent page, not if it's just some, you know, archive page or whatever, you know, just something that isn't, doesn't, doesn't demonstrate intent. All right. The next one that I'm doing is for a local accountant. I also have a local museum and a couple of others that have already been planned. And I've really started sketching out about the first 15 of these. So I'm going to be doing them all live and doing them the same way through the slide deck. And I'll be uploading the slide deck to um, slideshare.com and sharing it and so forth. So if you have questions, Jason at jasonobsllc.com or just go to jasonobsdigital.com, which is my website. For some reason, I was talked into changing jasonobsllc to jasonobsdigital.com. And I shouldn't have. I still own it, but I just, my main website is jasonhomsdigital.com. Even though my email would, anyway, you don't care. <laughs> if you have questions, let me know and I'll be back. Um, I do have, <laughs> that was almost as threatening as Arnold saying it, wasn't it? All right, I'll be back.
Let's exit. Ecamm Live. Oh, love this thing. Ecamm Live, 80 bucks. So worth it, it hurts. 